Man, what a year it's been, right, Doc? Oh, yes, <laughs> what a year it's certainly. Been. Yeah, a lot to get to in terms yeah. of just uh, questions from our viewers. Mm -hmm. We have never had a shortage of them no, surrounding this them. coronavirus. So the first question, do I need to upgrade my mask to protect against the COVID-19 oh. variant? So a lot of aerosol scientists are studying masking, right? We've been studying it for the last year, and we are continuing to study it. There is some suggestion that wearing a double mask, which you saw certainly a lot mm -hmm. in Florida, display in the inauguration may offer better protection certainly blocking those viral particles from getting out may offer better protection for the person wearing them but again you have to balance that with being able to actually breathe but there is no evidence at this time that we need to change our masks specifically for these variants, even though some of them definitely look like they're more readily transmissible. All right, a non-COVID question okay. here. I grew up believing that MSG in food was bad for you, and then I read that MSG is actually in a lot of foods today. Is MSG really bad for you? Well, it is in a ton of foods, you guys, because it's in fast foods, processed foods, soups, canned foods. Um, controversial in the world of nutritional science it is known as a central nervous system excitotoxin I knew this guy was going to love that word. Uh, and so, you just made that no, word up, dog. That is a real <laughs> word. <Okay. laughs> and it can cause some other effects like headaches, some flushing, mm -hmm. some GI distress in small amounts. Listen, it, you can't really escape it. It does need to be labeled by the FDA if it's, if it's in foods. Some people are more sensitive to others. In general, you need a giant dose of something to really be bad for you. But if you feel like you're sensitive to it, try to avoid it. Excitotoxins. There Can you, you buy that in pill form? Can I, I get knew that you right. like that It's called five-hour energy drink. Oh, yes. I saw you drink one earlier. So Correct. been there, done that. All right. <laughs> you can submit questions to Dr. Jen on her Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.